I'm Justin, a Future Plans virtual career coach. Today, you're going to learn a bit more about our college and career readiness planning tool and app. We're helping students become better educational consumers and leading them to jobs in demand that match their skills, interests, and work values. This program also provides our guidance counselors with a tool to effectively and efficiently help students with a plan of action after graduation. I'd like to now introduce you to my colleague, Terry Bain. While not as cool as I am, I think you'll still like him. Terry? Thank you, Justin. <laughs> no problem. See you guys in the program. So you just met Justin. He's one of four avatars that we use to help facilitate this program. Um, we, we want to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, well, one thing we've learned is don't get too comfortable with what you've created. Uh, the coaching sessions have been incredible. So we're an education foundation. There's 3,000 education foundations around the country. Um, we happen to support Pinellas County Public Schools. That's the St. Pete Clearwater area. And uh, you can see from our vision that this concept of career education and promoting that uh, to our young people is part of our DNA. So our early claims to fame, two prominent programs that are actually being replicated nationally now by Dream Achievement, Enterprise Village, which they call this town, and Finance Park, and you actually have two of those in this area. Fifth grade program, Enterprise Village, introduces young people to starting a business. A finance part is like a game of life. Uh, so our board said, well, what are we going to do for the high school students? We've got an elementary and a second grade, middle school program. So we started looking at some of the problems, and it falls right into this area. Underemployment, we hear about the Harvard study, where we have a skills gap in 90% of the jobs of the future. Um, the problem with college debt, and then which we affectionately call the boomerangers, uh, young people between the ages of 19 and 24, almost half living at home. It's a problem. So we created this thing called Future Plans because we believe that young people need a plan when they leave high school, and that's core to the problem. We're fortunate to have Nielsen Media in our area. They did all the focus groups one of 600 students, guidance counselors, educators, uh, business people to help us develop something that would be student friendly and counselor useful. And we took their advice. So I'd like to turn it over to Amber number two, Anolo, who's uh, going to tell you a little bit more about our program. Thanks, Terry. Um, so Future Plans is an online college and career readiness planning tool that assesses students' uh, abilities, their interests, and their work values, and it gears them toward an in-demand career. So students will go through a very short and simplistic registration process in which they'll be able to give access to a parent, a school counselor, a mentor, um, their customized student report. And during this registration process, they'll get to meet Justin and a few of our other virtual career coaches that will help guide them through the program. So once they've logged in, they'll be brought to our dashboard, which is the student homepage. And as you can see, they're going to jump right into the assessments. Now the assessments are linear by design so that the students can move easily from one to the next. Um, and then keep in mind the assessments aren't pass or fail, but they're simply identifying each individual student's uh, strengths. Um, the other portion of this tool, the assessment portion, does have to be taken on a computer so that we can maintain the validity of the assessments because some of them are timed. As they move through uh, the assessments, they're going to generate a poster, and this poster acts as a cover page of the student report. Um, it also acts as an executive summary so that a counselor or a parent or a mentor can very easily see a high-level view of that individual student that will help facilitate and guide those career planning discussions. And once they've completed the 11 assessments, they're then going to move into the evaluation phase of the program. And so they'll see our decision matrix. The decision matrix is going to populate the student's top career matches by demand, education level, interest, ability, and work value match. Uh, the students are then going to choose their top three favorite careers once they've had the opportunity to start evaluating each one of these uh, career alternatives. 
And then finally, once they've completed that evaluation phase, they're then going to be prompted to log into our app and begin the planning phase. And so the icons that you see here, the students will be working through that whole planning phase, um, whether they're looking for a job, tech training, college, military, and it goes from there. So now that you've had an opportunity to see how it works, Terry's going to wrap up why it works. Okay, we, we wanted to come up with a tool that was going to be effective and useful for counselors. And we're not trying to be all things to all people here, but to really focus on that planning issue. We have a heavy focus on career demand, and I think that's a, a real important distinction. There's not enough focus on presenting jobs that are in demand for young people. A game changer for us, we're working with the Career Source Florida. They've come up with a new database system that actually identifies demand, both on the supply and the demand side, by county throughout the whole United States. So if you want to find out if they need plumbers in Anchorage, Alaska, you can find that out. Uh, we provide tools for effective decision making because we think this is really core. We want the kids to learn how to make a decision. We use the PACE decision model. Interactive, intuitive, and linear. These are concepts that the students told us they wanted in the program. That poster was selected by the young people. The avatar is selected by the people. Linear, they want a next button. They don't want all kinds of drop down, confusing menus. They want to go in a linear fashion. Easy to implement, it has been. The kids get it, it's very intuitive. And bottom line, we want to make wiser educational consumers out of our young people. A lot of the problems that we showed earlier had to do with poor planning. If a young person has a plan, they'll do a much better job. We've been targeting high school students we found out that it also works for young adults. We've done quite a bit with the validation side, and that was one of the coaching things that came up. One of the coaches said there was a concern about, I have done enough with the cultural bias. So we've got that going on right now. We've hired a psychometrician to check that out. Um, in the future, we're looking at Spanish translation, adding an audio version for an interest. Uh, for the interest uh, inventory, we think that's the most appropriate for, for the blind. And uh, we a QR code for the audio. We currently, you can turn the avatar on or, or just have the text, so that yeah, is also helpful. We're scaling up, we created an LLC, made it operational in April. This is new territory for us, but we've got 28,000 users, 27 counties in Florida have signed on. What's interesting, they can have a program that the state of Florida bought for free, but they're buying ours. It's a more effective program. We're in Georgia, Maryland, and the Career Source, uh, the Workforce Boards, uh, in Florida they call them Career Source, but it's part of the whole Department of Labor. Um, they're also using it in the Tampa Bay area. Our checklist of differences, uh, the things that have the blank spaces, those are the recommendations we got from the counselors and the uh, uh, students when we met with them. So we wanted to create things in this program that they recommended as more helpful and more useful. And we had to raise the money to do this. Uh, Helios Education Foundation's got over a million dollars for the program. Bank of America put $200,000 in the program. So we've raised 2.7 million to create this program for Pinellas County Public Schools. And now we're ready to scale it up. And this is part of our team. Uh, we're not tech experts, but we know how to find it. And uh, we've got an a, a all-star cast here that's been helping us, uh, particularly uh, uh, on the tech side. And finally, we've had a very positive result uh, from the students with satisfaction uh, assessments that they're, that they're providing. And WestEd is doing a longitudinal study that Helios is funding, and they've suggested that these are very positive results uh, coming from high school students. Uh, bottom line, we had a 6% sign-up rate in our school district for the program they were using. And we've got almost a 70% completion rate with this program that takes three hours, not 20 minutes. So uh, getting a very positive result. Uh, again, thank you. Uh, this is a great opportunity. And we'll entertain any questions. And, Calvin, Julie, come up.